the sentry trick. You guys may have seen me using this trick in either my Crime Spree streams or my Cursed Kill Room 1 down gameplay. So what is this trick about? Basically, by using this trick, we can get some enemies stuck, which will make it easier to do objectives. So in this video, we will be covering what this trick is, how it works, and how to use it. So what is this? As mentioned earlier, this trick gets enemies stuck, usually more than enough to cause fate manipulation to happen on its own, unless we went and killed those stuck enemies of course. And once they are stuck, we are more or less free to perform objectives with little enemies to hinder us. And since this trick works purely based on how enemies are programmed to chase players and sentries, it is not dependent on difficulty settings, which makes it easily abusable or effective, depending on our point of view, like on one down or high crime sprees. Lastly, with the upcoming planned changes to the game AI, which we can read about in the forums, this trick may or may not become obsolete or unusable in the future. But let's just have fun with it for now. So how does it work? To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. But I decided not to fully research it since it is very complicated and knowing how to use it is enough for me. But for those who are curious, here's a rough explanation of how it works. In Payday 2, maps are broken down into areas. Of course, this is just a simplified version. In the actual game itself, even a simple room like the Diamonds Egyptian Room can be broken up into 4 or 5 areas. So what happens is that when hunting enemies spawn, they will make their way to the closest criminal which includes sentries. That's the first part. The second part is that for some reason, enemies get stuck when they are in range to attack but can't, like when the sentry is behind an obstacle or object. So they'll end up staring at the sentry, as long as the sentry is working and has ammo. Sometimes, it can also get enemies stuck at their spawn points, which is a huge plus. So going back to the areas, in a regular game, almost all the enemies will end up getting stuck at the sentry eventually when it reaches the spawn limit or when enemies stop spawning due to fate. This then results in almost no enemies chasing us or hindering our objectives. Hoxton Breakout Day 1 works slightly differently though, partly due to a different assault code used and also partly due to the spawn points moving along with the truck objectives. I won't cover that in detail but I'll show you how I did it later. So how to use this trick? First, we'll need sentries. Even a basic sentry without upgrades will do. Whether or not we need multiple sentries depend on the heist itself. Like in my Hoxton Breakout Day 1 gameplay, I used one for the street and one for the car park. Next, we'll need a good spot to place. Usually small spaces close to the wall like behind open doors or under tables, so enemies cannot circle around and shoot the sentry and vice versa. Keep in mind that this works based on distance between the sentry and spawn points. So if we place a sentry too far away, most enemies will still come back to us. And after that, just avoid going back to the same area and continue the mission as usual. Unless of course we need to release someone out of custody, then we can end the assault wave by clearing the stuck enemies. Try to avoid getting tased or getting down as much as possible, as some units are programmed to home in on these players. The best way to find these spots is to experiment. So start up the highs on normal and try different places until we can find one that works. I will not be making a special guide on the locations, but if I ever cover loud highs in future, I'll try to mention them. As mentioned earlier, Hoxton Breakout is a little different but what I did here is to place the sentry, move back, let the cops gather and get stuck before I sprinted past them using concussion grenades. From there, I experienced practically zero resistance because of the spawn limit, unless I killed a few stuck cops to spawn new ones. For the car park section, I opened up the rooms to look for a good sentry spot behind this machine which got most of them stuck and that wraps it up for day 1. For day 2, there are definitely more than one spot but outside the evidence room is my favourite because it's away from most of the other objectives. During the infinite assault after grabbing the server, I didn't see as many enemies so they may have been stuck at the spawn points. Also, I could have used the keycard for the last door but I was being cheeky instead. Okay, panic room is really straightforward. In the room where we make the deal, there is a desk and the room only has one entry point so we'll put it there. Then for the rest of the heist, a fair number of enemies will get stuck there. Just continue as per usual and avoid going near the sentry spot. Alright so thank you for watching, hope you guys have fun with this, hopefully not too much fun that you get your one down mask using this. Upcoming will be two gameplay clips, Hoxton Breakout and Panic Room both on Deathwish. Enjoy watching and breaking the game, 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Were you? I was waiting like a princess in a goddamn tower. It took you long enough. Let's go. missed while I was away.
Driver's waiting on your signal, gang. Here we go! How's Sheffield Wednesday doing? Draw fire oh, from the truck, gang. Hockey, fucking girls game, that is. Get this shit open! Collect the ticket! Open the gate! Dallas, I thought we were pals. The pals with his BFF in jail. Wanker. You keep doing that, or we'll pull off this caper just fine. I'm sure they'll come back for more, so use your time well now. More units! More guns coming your way, gang! Shit! Bollards are up! Fix it! The bollards will be controlled remotely. Security officer something. Find it and get them down. Or in it. I know they're in it. You're our king, and this is how you repent. You could get me a limo on the very fucking least. But I shouldn't have been there to begin with. Someone set me up, I'm sure of it. The feds have too much on me. 
way more than those binge bag wankers can dig up. Someone ran, someone fucked me, and I'm gonna find out who. No, it ain't gonna be easy. No funny. There's the entrance.
Director Stevens. All right, you're in. You've got and access to the PC of the bloody board. director of the fucking FB bastard eye. Approve the request.
get it back to Hoxton. Stay with whoever is carrying the server. It's heavy. Don't leave them behind. Those are hit!
Here it is. Use the key to open the red door. It's there. Found it. Set up the bus bus. Two on the sides of the panic room and two on the floor below. Gang!
right here is what it's all about. Fuck yeah! Everybody, get down into the sewers! A job well done. Now, get the hell out of there fast. The building won't keep standing for long. Got your taser! Taser out! See it down! Keep the taser! See it down! Oh, here. 